This year's Google I.O. presentation covered a wide range of subjects, but news about the upcoming Android O update was the thing which mobile fans around the world craved for the most. Apart from revealing that Android O will be officially released in late summer, Google also announced that the software is now entering its beta stage and anyone with a compatible device can test it out. So let's check out all the major features that will be introduced with the next iteration of Android. Notification Dots the inclusion of notification dots is one of the big quality of life updates coming with Android O. Users will be able to quickly explore and manage pending notifications without the need to access the notifications shade. Upon receiving one of those, a small dot will appear at the top right corner of the app. Pressing and holding the app icon prompts a new long press menu to pop up. Aside from showing you the notifications, it also provides access to some specific quick actions for most apps. You can then interact with the notification or simply dismiss it by swiping. Smart Text Selection in Chrome Autofill Copy-paste is one of those features that pretty much anyone uses on a daily basis and Android O is set to improve it with Smart Text Selection. A simple double tap will allow you to select any name, number or address that pops up on your screen without the need to fiddle with text selectors. Whenever a specific address is detected, an auto-suggestion can lead you to Google Maps in order to provide quick and easy directions to your potential destination. The powerful autofill feature used in Google Chrome will also have expanded capabilities. It will work with a number of different applications, allowing you to quickly log in without having to type those super long and secure passwords that you might have. Picture in Picture Mode Android O is also set to introduce a simpler way to do split-screen multitasking. Pressing the home button while you're watching YouTube or video chatting will now shrink the app's window, allowing you to use your phone for other tasks. Unfortunately, Picture-in-Picture -picture is currently only available on YouTube Red and Google Duo, which is restrictive to say the least. Third-party app support is bound to come in the future, but no further details were given during the I.O. event. Gboard Live Transliteration Perhaps one of the most useful functionalities that you'll notice on Android O is the updated Gboard, which is now supercharged with a new transliteration feature. Google Translate was included in different forms with previous versions of the keyboard app, but this new approach is by far the best solution we've seen to date. All you need to do for an instant transliteration is a long press on the spacebar, followed by a language selection. Once you start typing, the magic ensues. Currently, there's a limited selection of languages available, but the list is bound to increase in the future. Revamped Settings Menu and Quick Settings Shade Google does like to mess around with the organization of its settings menus every now and then, and Android O is no exception. The Quick Settings Shade has received a new color scheme and some icons have different positions, but the big change observed on this Android version is the main settings menu. Entering one of the subsections reveals a more simplified setup. Only the most essential options are visible, while everything else has been grouped up in an advanced tab. Tapping on advanced reveals the full set of available options. The battery submenu has also seen some improvements. With the next build of Android, you'll be able to determine not only the percentage of battery usage an app is responsible for, but also the actual time that you spent using it. Tapping on an individual app will allow you to see whether its power consumption came from active use or while it was running in the background. Thus, you have an easier time identifying and dealing with any services that might be misbehaving by using too much power. Google Photos It looks like Google Photos will benefit the most from the new machine learning techniques developed in Mountain View. Integration with Google Lens will embed object recognition inside the app, showing users information about any objects of interest in a given photo or image. Apart from that, Google Photos will also get three big new features. Suggested sharing, shared libraries and photo books, which are all designed to let you share your pictures with ease. Suggested sharing uses AI to detect faces and pictures and then suggests someone to share these photos with. For example, if you take a picture with your friends, Google Photos will nudge you to share it with the people recognized in the picture, rather than you forgetting about it and letting it rot in your library. While suggested sharing is designed with user choice in mind, the second one, Shared Libraries, uses Google's AI to automatically choose which photos to share with whom instead. In short, the user chooses a list of faces to share with a given person, and when Photos detects that face in a picture, it puts it in the other person's library as well. For example, if you set up shared libraries with your spouse, any picture that you take with your kids will be immediately available to your partner.
The last new feature, Photo Books, goes beyond the screen and into the physical world itself. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Using machine learning, photos can automatically select a set of pictures and order you a custom, real-life paper and ink photo book. For starters, the feature will only be available in the US, though Google promises it will be expanding to other countries as well. This was an overview of the most important Android O features revealed at Google I.O. Thank you for watching and see you next time.